We have a whole electrical division. Um, Tim Fuller is my vice president here. This is David Deem and Kyle Hall. This is some of the stuff so for you. Is this right? Is this done over here? Yes. So we perform all of our custom molds here. So this is what we call custom molding. All right. So this cable here goes to the Mark 99 system, which is um, a system that goes on the ships. The 62 reflector in the Mark 99 system is the system that directs the missiles to get shot off the ship. And we've done, we've got guys that have performed the 62 reflector refurbishment for 10 years. Um, but we have done these custom cables for the Mark 80 or MK82 pedestal, which Tim has done a great job in designing. The fleet has had a problem with water getting in behind these these custom cables here. And Tim has done a great job uh, with one of our teaming members on designing a watertight system here that now we've been getting calls from Port Wyneme and, and the, uh, the fleet here about us doing all of these cables since they've got such a problem problem there with stock, the stock system. Uh, yeah, I think Burkett did a good job explaining the cable there and everything. Uh, just got to add a little bit, the main issue that we have uh, as far as the water coming in is uh, interesting enough. The cable being neoprene, polypropylene, uh, for the back moldings in compatible materials, we had to find a uh, chemical component to go in between to create that watertight seal, so we've been very fortunate uh, in coming up with that. The, uh, this is our semi-rigid cables that we have pretty new into. Uh, Dean and Kyle did an excellent job on these. Uh, some of the equipment that we use, we have our cutting device here with a built-in micrometer so we can get a very accurate cut dimensional-wise. Another interesting thing about these semi-rigid cables is they're so, uh, it's very important to get your actual center conductor cut perfect on the angle. So that's what this device is for. It's called a pointer. It gets everything perfect. I think it's a 90 degree cut for these. Uh, then we use our pantograph bender here. Uh, this is kind of basically for a low production run this is what these guys use to form these complex bends here and get those as accurate as possible and consistent. And like Bergus said, these are molds that we use for these cavities. Actually designed up, we use these to mate into the connectors and they fit in with a dowel pin here and that's how we get the correct angle and keying for these and always have that consistency, so you have a perfect fit out in the field. And uh, they're made out of aluminum, we have a steel plate there as designed to get this gap uh, for whatever reason it's very critical. So this actually creates that gap between the coupling and the molding. Uh, it's also made out of steel because it's the pressure point for the injection molding. Used to point out the fleet then? Yes. Uh, yes, we've shipped it. Yeah. So we send, we've got a SAP contract that we have with the radar division to perform all these cables. We actually have 110 cables uh, right now that we're working on. Uh, there's more co different configurations than just this, this one here, um, but we've got six different configurations that we're working on currently. Uh, yeah. So six different configurations yeah, that were twenty-four total. No, but this is this is criti this is a critical problem. I can't tell you how many times <laughs> in my twenty-some odd years that a cable pin to pin short mm -hmm. and it just takes one. Oh yeah. Jump. So instead of the thirty-some odd pins we got mm -hmm. in this one, so yeah, that's awesome solving that problem. Yeah, and that's um, yeah with that, and I actually uh, cut my teeth uh, into this. Uh, I used to work for another contractor and I designed the testing for, uh, they work on the Capton project, uh, 4,000 point helicopter harnesses, where they were replacing out the old Capton wire that was burning oh, up yeah, yeah, the out in flight. And uh, I designed uh, the test setup and harnesses and wrote the programs for testing those. We had zero uh, rate. Okay. What's that box on the end? Uh, that's the uh, the actual enclosure that the semi rigid cables go into, uh, several bandpass filters and things like that for the RF. Uh, here at the end is a VPC uh, CASS panel. Uh, basically, when the guys get these rolling, this will be wired up uh, as well as all the RF components. This will actually interface with another module. Uh, typically, you'll see these kind of on the edge of the shelter or such, but they'll, they'll hang off of almost look like an AC unit or something. But. This is using an EW. Uh, this is for electronic warfare CASS box. It's a contractor we've won off that. So. We've got to uh, build two of these from the ground up for them.